everybody, it's Lincoln Brewster here, and we are here at Fender to talk about my brand new signature model Fender Stratocaster. And so without further ado, let's dive in. Everything on the guitar is world-class. We cut no corners. I've played Fender guitar since I was a little kid. Started playing guitar at nine. This is a dream come true for me. As you can tell, this is definitely based off of like a 57 Strat. A lot of them are kind of stealth mods. We'll get into the details here in a minute. I'm joining a short list of people who get this privilege and to be a part of not just uh, an amazing company like Fender, but really a piece of American history. As far as the color goes, I bought a used Strat. I'd never seen one before, but it looked just like this. It was uh, in that combination of Aztec gold, maple neck, parchment pick guard. I've kind of stuck with it, and then I guess just over the years kind of became known as the gold Strat guy. These pickups are DiMarzio virtual vintage pickups. So these are currently uh, in the bridge is called an Area 61. It's not a hot pickup, but it's hotter than the middle and neck, which are Area 58s. It's a stacked volume pot. I just reached down with the tip of my finger live. This adds uh, 10 dB of completely flat boost. There's no character to it. It uses a whole different section of the pot. When you turn it off, it is completely bypassed as if the guitar doesn't even have the circuit in it. And then we change the usage of the middle tone pot to an incredible mid boost. It's 10 dB of boost that you can get from it. The rear tone pot is wired directly to the bridge pickup. And so if you just roll this back to six or seven and kick this in with seven or eight on the mid boost, it's a humbucker. It sounds just absolutely rock and roll. As my friend said when he tried it, this Strat does things that no Strat has any business doing. <laughs>
it has a, a, a pretty cool profile to it, both on the front and on the back. So it's a uh, compound radius, nine and a half uh, at the nut up to 14 uh, at the last fret. Most vintage strats have 21 frets. I snuck an extra one in there because I like 22 frets. The back of the neck is a soft V, very, very comfortable in the hands. Having the nine and a half inch radius on the fretboard and that soft V, you get a little chunkiness for cording, just feels a little more stable to me. And then as you get up to the top, it flattens out. You can bend for days without it fretting out, which is nice. One thing, again, you don't notice from looking at the guitar head on is that guy. So that lets you, uh, this, uh, neck heel lets you get up just a little bit higher, a little easier without that digging into your palm. Locking vintage style tuning pegs. So again, you look at these, you don't they don't look locking, uh, but they do lock. Helps it stays in tune much better. One of my favorite things about the neck, there is a truss rod adjustment uh, up here in the top, uh, just right there where that piece of rosewood is. The truss rod is the most uh, under-celebrated thing on a guitar. It, it really, you can do so much with a small adjustment. It has a vintage style trim arm, same diameter, has the plastic tip on it. If you look on the back side here, there's even an Allen key where you can adjust how tight it is in there. So if you like it a little floppier, you can loosen it there. Or uh, I like it nice and tight where I can really feel the response. And the nice thing is, again, it has all the same sound characteristics of the vintage ones with those bent steel saddles, but you still get that high performance effect. Although it's a signature model guitar, I really believe this is a guitar for everybody. As a matter of fact, um, even when it came to the signature placement on the guitar, you can see I put it back here. And the specific reason I did that was so that you could actually swap the neck plate if you wanted to, really to make it feel like it's more your own. Because really, if it's your guitar, my signature shouldn't be on it, it should be yours. I think every guitar player ends up forming a unique connection with whatever their guitar is. I hope just like this guitar has become part of my story, it'll become part of somebody else's story as well. Hey.